Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Cameron's Corner. This is a special edition where we are going to be talking about uh, our personal baseball card collections. Um, I started collecting baseball cards when I was probably about uh, nine, ten years old. And my son Cameron uh, is getting in really interested in, in collecting them as well. And he's recently gotten some uh, nice cards here. And so what I was going to do here is kind of show you some of the cards that I've got, kind of my most valuable cards. They probably get up to uh, $180. Or they, well, they're a decent amount of money. Okay, we're, we're not going to talk too much about the values. Cameron's obsessed with the values. I'm more obsessed with, like, how cool looking they are. Um, and So, like, if you have a baseball card that's not worth much, it might be worth, like a favorite player you have and you might invite a friend over to your house and then you could just show them your baseball card collection and then they might say oh he was my very very favorite player back then who was my favorite player back then um uh, and mike schmidt there you go mike <laughs> schmidt was my favorite player when i was about your age it's my favorite now but he actually he had to retire because he was getting uh, older and you said he had the weirdest cry <laughs> <laughs> yes if uh mike schmidt's um retirement speech is pretty funny actually he had a weird goofy cry but uh, it's it but see in seriousness it was kind of sad because you know that that's somebody that's been playing baseball and it's their dream that was their dream and their life and then all of a sudden you're like 35 years old and you can't play baseball anymore that's so. young that's pretty young but you don't know what you're going to do if all you've known in your entire life is playing Well, you baseball. still got to get a job when you're like 30-something. It's when you get to like 60 or 50, when you get like into the older parts. And he's worried about him getting older. Moving on. So we're going to start with uh, my card collection today. And, uh, and now I'm going to let Cameron kind of maybe even talk about some of my cards, but definitely talk about some of the cards that he's and collected here. I don't have, a, I have a little bit of baseball, but I have, uh, I think I might have 16, I don't know how many basketball cards there are, but I got, um, a pack today and it wasn't like 10. There are not, there are more than 10. In there but I have a little bit of baseball cards in here and these are my very nice good players I have them in these like little glass things like where you can protect them it so if, you, if it like has like a little bit of crust on it like maybe like I don't know spaghetti sauce on it it protects the card because it has that little plastic thing on it but if you just put a random card and you're eating spaghetti it might fall on and that will get pretty bad okay you ready yeah all right so let's talk about some of these cards again so camera can you grab the camera here and then we'll uh, so my assistant Cameron is going to be pointing the camera here you're gonna have to turn it so that way you can show it to you know to them so what's um, the first so the first set of cards here are um so i had these cards i th i think they were my maybe my father's cards i'm and not sure these kind of cards mm. are like um worth a little bit of money i think i have these type of cards like i not these type of cards but it has like this like kind of painting on them like i don't know how they do it but it's like this calm it looks like comic kind of comic yeah. yeah, so back then they didn't necessarily have color pictures, so what they would do is they would take these photos in black and white and then add color to them later, so that's why it looks like a comic book look. Yeah, it looks real so cool. So some of the uh, famous cards here, um, we have Larry Doby. He was the uh, second African-American player to play in the major leagues, uh, the first in the American League, and here is his card from 1950. Uh, it's a Bowman 1950 baseball card when he was with the Cleveland Indians. You've got Bobby Thompson here. Um, this is not a very in good condition, as you can see. There's, um, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's got the little uh, cut here uh, in the corner. Uh, I it's actually terrible. think I actually think I did that when I was uh, Cameron's age on Ooh, accident. Um, but Bobby Thompson was the player uh, that hit um, the uh, home run. Oh, that's bad. Uh, I can't remember who it was against. 
but uh, it was the Brooklyn Dodgers. Is he good? And uh, yeah, he was he was a pretty good player. Oh, you just Vic wasted Wirtz, a bunch of money. Vic Wirtz was the player that hit the home run or the ball deep to center field. Wait, that, is it this um, one? That Willie oh. Mays caught. He was a really good ball player. Is he on, Is that what team is that? He's on the Detroit Tigers. Ooh, I never heard that. Um, these are more modern cards, as you can see. Um, I think they're like what 1990 Donruss Mets, cards. Mets, my coach bitch team. Yep, the Mets. Athletics. Gary Carter, that was my Merritt, coach bitch team. Uh, but we're gonna go over here and again look at some 1950 um, Bowman cards. Is that what he actually looked when he was a baseball player? Yeah. So Ooh. we got again. This is Robin Roberts. Uh, this I did not realize, but this is recently. Looks recently damaged. Uh, that was not like that. Um, Robin Roberts is a Hall of Famer. Oh, my God. Um, you got Leo DeRocher. He's a um, Hall of Fame uh, manager. You also have Mel Parnell. Uh, for years, he was my most valuable card. He was a pretty good pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. Did you get a new valuable card? And the reason why he was... Um, the worth the most is because in um, he was card number one, and a lot of times uh, the first card he would be the first card on top of the uh, of the deck, and because he was card number one, and so when you're on the top of the deck, um, a lot of times those are the cards that get bent um, a little bit more easier than the other cards, and then on the bottom, uh, the last card is usually the uh, more valuable card in the set, as you they also tend to get damaged. You told me of, like, number one and number two and number three. Is that what they get to, or do they get to, like, four or five or any of those numbers? They go all the way up to a couple hundred. Ooh. Uh, we got Ralph Kiner here. He was a, um, I think he's a Hall of Famer. He had a Hall of Famer for uh, when he played with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, re had some really good years. Uh, big Ted Klozuski with the uh, Chicago White Sox. Um, he used to wear his uniform where he would cut off the sleeves and so to show off his muscles. Um, obviously, you wouldn't be able to do anything like that nowadays. Uh, you can't um, change the uniform. It has to be a certain look. Uh, Johnny Vandermeer was a uh, pitcher for the Reds. He actually pitched two no-hitters in a row, um, and so he's the only pitcher that ever have done that. Again, um, really not in good condition considering uh, it's got this, uh, Jeez, some of ripped, it taken off. He ripped a lot. So, um, so then we uh, will go in and maybe look at a few other um, baseball cards here um, that I've collected over the years. Just real fast. Um, you know, it, uh, these are the 88 Donruss cards. Um, nothing really sticks out with any of these cards. I'll just go through very quickly. Um, again, Donruss, um, that's Andre Scalaraga's rookie card. Uh, he was a pretty good player, uh, for the Montreal Expos. Um, you got Evansville, Indiana's own Don Mattingly. Um, you know, he was really big, uh, when I was growing up and, um, you should have got one of those glass things. So like it would be protected so you couldn't rip it. Well, that's why I have them in these. Um, you got Mark McGuire's rookie card. Well, it's um, too light. You already ripped it. Um, I'm trying to think. What else we have? Uh, nothing spectacular. Reggie Jackson near the end of his career. That's not going to be worth too much money. Um, Roger Clemens. I think this card's actually kind of worth a little bit of money because um, this was early in his career. Uh, Eric Davis. He was uh, one of the best baseball players um, I saw um got or had the chance to see um growing up uh, i didn't see in person but just watching him he was really an exciting baseball player um what else we got howard johnson um he was a really good player uh, frank viola great pitcher eric davis again um what else we have here um what was the oh i have this card oh no it looks just like him John Gordon was him. Tom Gordon. Tom Gordon. It Gary looks Sheffield's just like him. Card. It looks just like him. Uh, Mike Schmidt, like uh, Cameron said, that was my favorite um, baseball player growing up. You should have showed your um, football cards. Uh, 
Danny Turnable was a had a pretty couple of good years there. Uh, this is actually an autographed Don Mattingly baseball card that I have. And did you, and he did he actually sign? He that? actually signed that. Yes, he did. Um, then uh, somewhere in here I have an autograph Reggie Jackson. Um, what I really think that I really like a lot are these. Uh, I went. My sister took me to an Indianapolis Indians game back in 1988. Whose sister was it? My sister, Sister Trix. Well, oh. And um, we went to an Indianapolis Indians game, and that was the year that Randy Johnson um, was on the team. And that night was um, baseball card promotion night, and I got a couple of Randy Johnson baseball cards. And I thought they would be worth quite a bit of money because they're minor league, and you would have to be there for the promotion to get the cards. Uh, they only gave out a couple, maybe a couple of thousand, maybe 2,000 or so. Um, but I'm always shocked that this card is not, I mean, Randy Johnson, um, was, uh, one of the last, best pitchers in the last 40 years, uh, also a hall of famer. And I'm just surprised that, um, that card is not really worth, uh, that much and money. Is this one autographed? No, as, that's not. That's oh, that, not the, and the guy must, is that real autograph? Um, what? That's the, not, no. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know what's an actual autograph. Uh, that's not an autograph. Uh, we have Ron Gant, who was a nice player. Um, and also, one of my brother's favorite players uh, back in the 90s. Uh, that's his rookie card. And, um, and also else? what you can Tommy tell... Tommy John from Terre Haute, Indiana. Um, should be in the Hall of Fame. He uh, pitched forever. Had really some great years. Um, I got this card a while back. And if you notice, um, and I never knew this, but this was a 1978 Rookies. And you had Dale Murphy. Uh, I did not know that Dale Murphy was originally a catcher. I always thought he played the outfield. So, um, And else? how you can tell of a card, if it's sort of, it can happen sometimes if it has a little trophy. But some um, cards out there with trophies might not be good players. So my son's talking about these little trophies that say, like, rated rookie. But um, he actually isn't worth, like, he wasn't a good player. No, he had one or two good years. Um, so rated rookies, um, anytime you get a rookie card, they're going to be worth more money uh, because it's their first card. Uh, especially they're going to be worth more money later on down the road if they, are, they happen to be, like, a Hall of Fame player. Uh, for example, like, anytime if you could find, like, a Mickey Mantle rookie card, um, one, they didn't make that many of them. And of course, Mickey Mantle was a was a great player. Bo Jackson was a you know Bo Jackson was a, a great player. Um, somewhere in here, I have his um, rookie card, Frank Thomas. Uh, that's when he was at Auburn. Uh, who else we have? Um, just trying to see Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie. Um, has the trophy on it. And then, so yep, yeah, has the trophy. So that lets you know that it is his rookie card. Um, and this guy, when he took his picture, I think right after when he took his picture, I think he had, was it a heart attack? Well, he ended up dying of a heart attack. I don't know if it was right after that picture was taken. But, like, it was at, like, night or, like... I don't know when exactly the time of day that he died. I'm sure he died, like... Uh, yeah, so. Fred Lynn's rookie card there. He was, uh, of course, a really um, nice player. Uh, here's Casey Stengel. A baseball card uh, unfortunately had the little red mark on there um what else we had... these were really nice cards and you just bend them and ripped them um that's not really what happened but um <laughs> it's just uh actually i got that the way i don't know why rob robin rob oh, i have this guy rob dibble he had a couple of good years mm -hmm. Cecil Fielder, uh, that I think that might be his rookie card. He had some really good years, of first, course. That's his um, first card. Uh, Gary Sheffield, future star. That might be worth some value. I have a rookie card in here. Robin Ventura. He I have a rookie a and a guy in here, you guys. But, like, some reason, Dad was confused. Like, it wasn't worth a lot. It was only, like, worth, like, a dollar or something. Here are some of those other uh, 1950... Um, that looks um, pretty old. That looks like from the 19... 1950. Uh, Mark yeah, McGuire's that's... rookie, and then we got Jose Canseco's rookie card there. That looks really uh, Some more cards from the 1950s. Um, 
There was color back. Um, like the first color movie was The Wizard of Oz. That is correct. Back in 1939. So, so. they should have had color on that um, baseball card. Yeah. Because I think the Wizard of Oz was in 1940. Yes, 1939. That is correct, Cameron. Very good. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and um, have Cameron kind of show you his cards. Um, so, Cameron, um, why don't you talk about some of your card collection here? Now, this time I just don't have to um, put the camera down like my dad did because he doesn't want to take these cards out. Because the, um, these are a, a couple of money. Um, but mine are covered in glass, so I get to pick them up. But I really wish I had gloves, which he's always, which I am always talking about. Because, of, right, like he said, um, you don't really want to damage them. Because when you touch it, it ruins the ink. The, or was well, it? Well, you can, you can, your, the... Uh, the oils in your hands can damage them. And then the other thing, too, is um, you can bend them. And so it's best not to handle the, the cards as as much as possible. So so um, I think we're just going to start with, but it's, like, not really special. It's just a card to say that baseball card day, August 8th, 2020. But is it going to happen this August or was it going to happen last August? But it says 2020, but it's 2021. So it must be like from last, it might be, they might be doing it this year. So what we first have, this isn't really a special card, but um, I think the rest of these were um are really nice cards. It's an Andrew Lang card, and he's a basketball player. And, and this isn't really a really special card right there. So uh, Cameron's going to just kind of show you the special cards. And there's uh, the back. Since we're getting kind of uh, short you, on time, right, you, Cameron? Yeah. So why don't you pick some of your favorite cards that uh, that are notable players. And here's the back of it, just mm -hmm. in case if you want to read it. Um, here's another player. Um, he had like one or a couple of year, good years. And this is Derek McKee. McKee. Um, here's the back of it right there. And he's a basketball player, just so you know. Um, here's Vernon Maxwell. Well, um, didn't you say he was good? He or? had a couple of good years, yeah. And From the University of Florida. It's a basketball John would be happy card. to hear that, that I knew that. And what you could probably notice is it has this, like, little gold on it, kind of shining. And it must be like these are really good cards and i got the these in a pack we got them at the warehouse because i needed more of these little things and i think there's 30 of them um all these cards and there's some baseball in here but there's more basketball there's 14 baseball and 16 basketball i think to be aware sean kemp um this is a basketball player number 40 the pride of Marion, Indiana, uh, won a state title uh, with him and uh, Lyndon Jones. No, that's not right. I'm thinking of somebody else. But he, uh, I think he did actually win a, a state title. Uh, was going to play at UK, University of Kentucky. And but then he had failed. Some, well, he had some issues there. We're not going to talk about that. Um, and here's the back, <laughs> just in case if you want to read it. Um, here's another one. Uh, he's now a coach. He's not a basketball player, but he still does basketball. Um, but he's a coach now. At North Carolina. Yeah. Hubbard Davis. Hubert. Hubert. And he's a basketball player. And it's not, that's 44. And there's the back, just so you know. All right. Come on. Uh, too much time. Here's Gary... Peyton, and um, here's the front. His nickname was the Glove because he was so good at defense. And there's the front, and there's the back. It looks like he was into cheetahs because it has little spots on it. Uh, here is P.J. Brown. He was okay. Dad says, "When he means okay, he it means bad." Just no, like, it doesn't. Yeah, he played for a long time in the NBA. There's the back. He played like 16, 17 years. So. He must have been decent to be that one. Here's Eric Lechner. Lechner. He was not okay. <laughs> he was bad. <laughs> I don't even know who he was. 
People always say that a couple of white men are um there's like a lot of white people but there but there's like some but there's not a lot of good white players. But there's a lot of good black players. So there's um Scott Skiles. That's not what I say, that's what other people say, just saying. So Moving know. on, please. There's basketball. That's back. And he really wants to move on. Oh, Billy Owens, my mom's favorite player. On one, she, cause he went to what school? New York, Syracuse. Syracuse, and he's a basketball player, number thirty. And there's the back. Here's um Jim Jackson. He's on basketball. Dated Tony Braxton. And there's a front, and there's the back. Here, oh, here's a baseball card. Um, Cleveland. Wait. Cleveland. Francisco Lindor. He's a, a solid player. So uh, there's the front. All right, quickly, come on. We're getting. Here's um Cincinnati. Joe. Joey Votto. That there's used to be your favorite player, Cameron. Me? Yep. You don't even remember. I don't remember. Oh, he's a really good card to have. Wilson Contreras, so catcher for the Cubs. Yeah. So he's had some good years. Here's um, another good card Dustin to have. Dustin Pedroia. So all five foot nine of them. Mm -hmm. Here's a guy that played on the Cubs. Chris I got, Bryant. Yeah, and these kind of cards, um, a guy gave them to me. Oh, here's a rookie player, uh, Reese Hoskins. Yes, the, for the Phillies. First baseman, I think. He was a, this, he was really good. Nolan Arenado? Yeah. Or Arenado? He played for the well, Rockies. I, Rockies. Here's another basketball player. Bill Wennington, I actually met him one time. There so, he is. Very, very tall. Um, here's Scott Skiles, From basketball Indiana, player. Plymouth High School in Indiana. He's a basketball player. Uh, here's a, another basketball Vladi, player. Vladi, actually, how do you say that name, Cameron? Vladi Divac. <laughs> <laughs> Vladi Divots. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to see how you would read that. Or read that. <laughs> Who's next? Um, he's on the Chicago White Sox. I don't Sox. know who this guy is. Uh, this is... Robert. Who is this guy? Luis Robert. I have no idea who he is. <laughs> Moving on. Here's a Carlos nice, Correa. He is a good um, mm -hmm. car to have. Shortstop. Uh, oh, Tom, here we go. Talk about this. Tom Seaver. I got this at a Cincinnati card store, and he had some pretty nice cars, and they and he sold them like for two hundred bucks. That's probably the highest. That's not how much that card was. No, there was no. There were other other cars. cars? Okay. And, Here's Pete Rose, and if you're into the Reds, you need to have a Pete Rose. Pete Rose he was all and a Tom Seaver. Tom Seaver and Johnny Pizzi Bench. Show your Johnny Bench because I said if you're gonna like the Reds, and he he was also the all time hitter of the Reds. All time hits leader, um, not just of the Reds, but all time with everybody. Here's Johnny Bench Reds right there, and I have another Johnny Bench. Turn back the clock. Moving on. Here's a nice car to have right there. And that's... I don't know who that is. Something O'Neal. Tyler O'Neal. Tyler O'Neal. Okay. And the last one is Mookie Betts. And this and this probably was just signed by a... Was this... It's just, it's just a computer thing. So, as you can see, we've got a nice little collab. He started a nice... Uh, Cameron has started a nice... Card collection. And these were my first basketball cards. And um, so we're really looking forward to him collecting over the years. Uh, baseball card collecting is a lot of fun. And uh, if you take good care of them and hold on to them over the years, um, they might be worth something one day. So I think maybe our next Cameron's Corner is we'll go and talk um, on our next episode. We'll talk about maybe some of uh, the autographs I have here. Um, maybe yes. not necessarily the next episode, but later on. How about that? He has, I think he has them at his mom's house. Well, uh, so oh, there are some. So. There's some that, um, you know, that I have. But you have a I really nice about. one that might got stolen. Yeah, so anyway, um, he got we will lost see you. So he got a baseball, uh, a baseball stolen. We will see you next time at Cameron's Corner. Bye. Bye bye.